Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Gian and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. In the last episode, we killed Kara and Alice, that's the long and short of it. In my free time, I have actually replayed through the game up until this point, restarting my save progress so we can just play through it fluently. The game should remember my choices, so that should impact. I don't know if it did or not, but I wanted to be safe and I reset the game and I replayed through everything, making sure my decisions were exactly the same as episodes one and two of this genocide run. So without further ado, we're gonna hit continue. That rhymed. All right, here we back up. Uh All right, we're back here again with Carl and Marcus. That was by far the most boring party I've been to. So I don't remember if years. this is the part Every where time I go to one of these, we I deviate, because we deviated with what Carl. Carl already deviated. Here? I hate but cocktail parties. No I think it's Marcus's turn to deviate. Well, it's a I'm not entirely sure yet, because Connor deviates a long some. time yeah, after yeah, everybody yeah, else no does. No one gives a damn about art. More or less, you know. All they care about is how much. I guess my hair's just gonna, gonna do its thing, it. whatever it's doing right there. Come on, I, let's have a drink. Oh, the let's drink. Let's get inebriated. Let's get drunk. Let's get crunk, Carl. Ooh. Scotch, neat as usual. Yay! Absolutely. For alcohol. Okay, you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm uh, old enough to choose my own medication. All right. We should mix them all together, swirl them up, and I think I should feed that to Carl. I think that would be the best drink. I think that could get Carl really... Did you leave the light on in the studio? I did not. That was no, your dear son, no, Leo. Sure I didn't. Call the police. Call the police. We have a break this in. This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home. So and found this the is where on. things. Oh, something I did. So I I literally just finished playing the episode with Kara and Alice, right before I recorded this, just so I could get caught up. Um, and when I deviated, I don't know if it gave me the choice last time, or I was just oblivious and I didn't realize it the first time I played through the games. It gave me an option to reason with Todd. Was that always there? Leo! I didn't I didn't realize if that what was are you a doing? thing or not. You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. Yeah. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Jeez. See, Think Leo, I don't... On my inheritance. Leo well, kind of just there. fades out of, out of existence here. after this point in my original playthrough. So I don't know how to... I don't know what's going to happen. So uh, we're going to warn. Look, I've already oh, I should have done an order. You Remember, now, this is a genocide run. This is what we're trying to... We're trying to get the worst oh, possible yeah, outcomes to go away. What's wrong, Dad? throughout this whole playthrough like because... Not perfect. Like this it's fun. Um, and then after get some time in the right future, now. probably well, some time further anyway, down huh? the road. Got that item? Leave him alone. Mm. Sometime Come further on. down Let's the road, we're going to try to do like a perfect run. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? I'll defend myself. Anything. I'm going to do it. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Yes, if I defend. Man, act like one. I will do oh. it. Stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Because I know, I don't Stop know. Stop it. Just Carl... fight back, you fucking bitch. Does Carl actually? I don't know, because I know Carl can survive, but I don't know. Like that's something. Oh no! I don't want Carl to die, but at the same time, this is a genocide run. So you know what, Carl? You can go. You can. Blood count. All right, time for a push. Should we give you? I, I think I should give you a. Oh right, swift that's right. I shove. forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. All right. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. Push, Leo. Nice. Got him. Oh. Carl didn't. Huh, interesting. I didn't he Leo. die last time? I don't remember. Oh my god. Yeah, Leo. we 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 dumb fubbernucked, but that was the point of this. My little boy. I'm not trying to make light of the situation, it's Carl, just I've gone I... through this before. So You better run, Marcus. You don't want to get a shooty shooty bing bang into They'll the face. I'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Go, run my boy. Get out of here. Run! Uh, 
Say nothing. And go. Up. Oh, Get out! The police are here. Now! Too late. Go! And the thing is, like, they shoot on sight, Fuck right? It. So. Don't fucking move! Yeah. So. Either way, we end up in the scrap heap. Which is a very cool scene, by the way. It is 93% completed. Huh. Interesting. Um, but yeah. Marcus ends up in the scrap heap, which is a very cool scene. Very visual. Very vibrant with colors. It's a dark and vibrant. All right. Oh, Why'd this is where him? I messed up. So this time if I mess up, what that's a good thing. But I didn't get this interrogation part at all, which was totally heartbreaking because I ended up... I didn't get him killed. I know you can get How this guy killed. I don't attic? even remember what this guy's name is. It's not Trevor or something. Why don't you even try to run away? But let, let me get in there. Lieutenant, let me see what do and what don't. Say something, goddamn. Hello, my name is Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. I wonder if you can Fuck get Connor killed in this here. section. I don't know. We can get everybody killed. Like, ah. Uh, I've already gotten killed by Connor once. We're wasting our time interrogating killed Alice machine. and Kara. That's happens. cool. Marcus is on is, is on the run. He's gonna end up in the scrap heap. Not dead After quite all. yet. Um, and then so I don't know about this position Androids right here. Feel pain. You would only There's so many possibilities. See, this is the talk. game that Until Dawn should have been. Also have a tendency Until to Dawn was so scripted that it wasn't okay, even so funny. Like, you had a few different voice lines, but that was about it. This is what I Until Dawn should have been. <laughs> yes, let Connor do it. Because <laughs> it's like, what you, you haven't done any better, right, you jack wagon? What do we have to lose? Yeah, my goodness. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Yay! Thank you, Hank. Alright. So here we go. We're gonna go question El Suspecto. Alright, tell me what you gotta... Okay, so I gotta pay very close attention because I don't remember. Extract confession. Obviously, that's not what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna look at him. Dabbledged all over, blood all over. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna try to make you... Your, your stress level go through the roof. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? Interrogate. I'm not even going to analyze. Reach optimal stress, stress for confession. Gotcha. Okay. Name. name I'm just going to go for it. My name is Connor. You? Leroy Jenkins. Too low. I want to get that stress up high. All right. We're going to thread in. refuse to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, uh, Connor's do uniform, it looks so sharp. Is that what it you looks want? Looks so good. Yes, going up a little bit. Uh, probe memory? If Will you that talk, I'm going get to a have bad to reaction. Your memory. No. Yes. No, please don't do that. Yes. Yes, that's good. Hello. Yes, it's what? a double-sided mirror. What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna kill ya. They're going to kill you. They're going to destroy me, aren't they? Yes. Truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. Yes. They have no choice. So I thought that I happened. needed to get the stress all the way down. I think that's what I thought last Why time. And it eventually got me? to me at the very last second and there was nothing Why I could do. You just I did end up saving his life, kind of. Truth. I was programmed to hunt but... deviants like you. Ah, uh, see. I just see... accomplished my mission. Ah, uh, bloody hell. I wish I would have known that in the first die. playthrough. Yeah, I don't want to die. Then talk to me. All right. Uh, I... All right, I want to get the stress... I want to stress level through the roof. I can't. Yes, let's do it. Oh. Choose approach. Okay. Well, then my choosing. Uh, pressure it. Probe its memory. It definitely did not want me you to do that. You leave me no choice. All right, probe. Ah, R2. Here we go. Cycle. R1. Oh gosh, hold on. Buttons. Oh gosh. R2. R2 again. A circle. R1. There we go. I think I let go of it last time. Square. I don't. I don't know. I have enough fingers for this. There we go. Oh jeez. I did not get to see this last time. So this is going through everything that we found at the crime scene. We're going in backwards order, actually. 
Um, but it seems like this red ice, red ice makes people irritable, and it makes it yes, a hundred percent. I know what happened. It makes them irritable and unstable, and it just makes them so angry and violent. I guess. Side effects of red ice, man. Bad stuff. Leave interrogation room. I'm not gonna lie, I thought something was bad. Yes, that's what I wanted. Oh, fuck, it's destroying itself. Yep. That's what demons do. In the first playthrough, that's what it told me to. Uh, that's what told me. I can't. I can't stop it. But I didn't get it this time because I just went straight for it. Oof. He done so. And you got Ethereum all over your body, Shit. bud. Does that mean I failed, or does that mean I completed my mission as an RK-800 Connor model? The interrogation, 64%. I could say that was a pretty bad ending. I think there might have been a way to get Connor killed in that. But, what's done is done. All right, back with Marcus already. My goodness. Like I said, this one is always, this is visually um, stunning. Like, look at that. My goodness. It's so dark. It's so gruesome, and I love it. Ah. Ah. So did you get shot in the eye hole? Because you're missing an eye. Is that what you're telling me? Audio receptors are out of order. Diagnose. So cool. I wish I could be a computer thing like this. But that would also be bad. Um, my eye hole's gone. No, I mean, I have an eye hole. I don't have... Oh, and the uh, pump, right? The Ethereum pump regulator. Uno mas. Ah, oh yeah, and I'm missing my legs. I forgot about that. Missing my legs. All right. Well, it's so cool that... So, it's like you can't hear anything around you, right? But the only things you can you, you you can hear is what's audible through you touching the ground and stuff, which would make sense. Um, it's just like in space, uh, since there's no no air, no sound in space. The only thing you can hear is the things reverberating through your suit, and it's basically the same principle here because um, he has no audio receptors, or his audio receptors are damaged. So all, the only things he can hear are through. His arms, which sounds really weird, but it's the sound vibrations through his arms going through his, his body up into his hand. Uh, his head. That's how he could hear. All right, we're gonna move this bad leg piece right here. I wish I could do this. This is the coolest thing ever. But it just shows how versatile these androids are, um, because it's not like a human where you have to have time to regenerate it's like you find the right bio component it could be damaged but like you're pretty much set to go um and it go ties into so much of the customization right um because they have this self regenerating and nano skin thing that goes over their bio components right um and just like we see in a future i think we might get to it no just kidding we pro we will but I don't see how likely it is. I don't know what's going to happen because I killed off Kara and Alice. Because you get uh, the option to customize Kara, right? Um, and so it's, it's it's so interesting how these androids are made and, and the functionality behind them because it's, it's really mind-boggling to see that so many things can come from, like, uh, it's so hard to explain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, something else that I don't understand is like, yeah, you find your pump your regulator, you find your legs, you find your eye, you find your ears, but how do you get yourself patched up? Is that just as soon as, as you have a stable condition, does that give, does that make it so that we have the capacity to regenerate? It's Jericho! I can do that! So at this point, I was like, what the heck, lady? But she was giving me the information necessary to find Jericho. I thought she was just saying, you know, find Jericho, right? But in fact, 
she's actually she actually probed us and gave us the information all the information we needed this part I was not too fond of the first time I went through because my goodness that's so weird it's so gross it's like oh I hate it Ah, uh, so unsettling I'm going to Jericho man too bad you can't come with Stand back up, Marcus. Or he maybe got shot in the chest. I can't tell. I wonder what happens to all these androids as well during the day, you know? Like, they're just chilling down here. Oh, I need to find audio receptors, optical unit, and pump regulator, and stuff like that. Roll you over, bud. Do you have the necessary components that I need? Uh, no. Lower energy. Incompatible. Nope. <laughs> All right. Oh, get it. Can I steal your pump regulator? No, I can't steal your eye either. All right. So, hello, my name is Marcus, and I'm on the, I'm on the market. Oh gosh, that actually scared me right there. My goodness, that gave me a right spook. I appreciate that spook that I did not get before. Maybe I did, but it spooked me again. Compatible. Oh gosh. Sorry, I go kill you. I go kill you. Yeah, Booski. Take that from you. Thank you very much. I thank you for your contribution. You will live on within me. So, hold on. Okay, hold on. So if I take it out of her, and she dies. What happens if I take out mine out right away? She, it seems like she dies instantly, so I gotta go f Oh, okay, shut down in a minute, there we go. So that makes sense. I think what makes my this situation different from hers is I am in better condition than her. She doesn't have any legs, she's been out here for a while where I have not, and I have the capability to survive just a little bit longer. Oh, okay, so she did survive a little longer is just shut down was eminent good to know stand up i need an eye hole and i ah uh, yes so i can see that my heart has been regulated i suppose anybody want to give up their eyes or give up their ears Ooh, i think you are the one yes 100 pull out hello hello can I have that, please? Thanks. Plug that in. Plug in Chug. I wonder if it gives you different eye colors, or is it still green and blue? It's still green and blue. I mean, all right. I still need audio receptors, or whatever they're called. You have beautiful eyes, my man. And that effect of the rain, the grungy rain pouring down on your face. Find audio processor. Um, why would I need to scan? No, I need... That's unfortunate. Um, I don't need to try climbing yet until I'm fully repaired. I think you might be able to give me what I need. Just kidding, the game says no. Okay, again, doesn't help me. Statue, pretty. Again, I don't... Oh, you are missing a head. Good, sir. I need a head for what I need, which is the audio processor. How about you, good sir? Oh, jeez. Oh, I forgot. All right. And he's dead. Can I steal your ear? No? Okay. That was dumb. Hello? Yes, I can do that. I am a stone cold killer. Can I take your um your ears? Your audioness? Androids don't feel pain, so it's weird. Anyways, it's like I wonder how many of these androids in the junkyard have actually deviated? Versus they were just thrown out, you know? Um, 
because it seemed like some of them were genuinely still acting according to their programming and some of them said I don't want to die so obviously they deviated interesting it's like how many of these have actually deviated can I have your ears please yes I want your ears take up there we go I'm just gonna plug and chug that back of my head just slap that in and there we go condition stabilized and see like the thing like he doesn't have a giant hole in his body anymore so that's what I'm wondering is oh the rush of noise so that's what makes me wonder if I don't know if like they at, once they stabilize enough they can actually just start repairing themselves I don't know. Detrimental to the story? No. A good theory? Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Because if they're damaged enough, see, I don't understand. Because the guy in the uh, we interrogated, his arms were so bashed up because of the baseball that he didn't regenerate, he didn't repair himself. So what? What is the prime condition? Oh my goodness, got it. What's the prime condition, or what's the stable condition, that they're able to repair themselves? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's a good question. And again, I don't know if Alice and Kara are going to come back, because I, I killed them. I killed them dead. But what differentiates them from Connor's situation is Connor is a cyber life android. There are many versions of him, which we find out in the end of the game. So it's not like Todd went out and got two more got them fixed because they're uber expensive. No! Take off that L80. You have to be aware to take it off. You can't just be a random humbo jumbo. Take that. Pry that off. I remember when I first saw this, I thought he was going to kill himself. But why would he go to, to all the trouble in fixing himself just to kill himself, right? Doesn't make sense. See, we can see that skin peeling back there. And there goes the LED. And then it fixes itself. Alright. Looks like we've just been washed ashore from a shipwreck. You will be free soon, or not. Because we're going for the genocide run. We're going to work for worst possible outcomes. My name is Marcus, the android who deviated Beta, and that jacket is so cool. I want that jacket. Would it look cool on me? No, but it would be a cool jacket. All right, now we are uh, talking with Amanda. So this is our first encounter with Amanda, and as we find out, I'm not even going to try to go for the little glowy thingy this time. As we find out... That this is all in Connor's head. This is all in his programming. So this has he's not actually traveling to a physical place. This is all in his mind. This is confirmed by Brian. Dear Brian. Dear Connor. Dear boy sent by Cyberlife. Hello, Amanda. It is me, Connor, the Arcade 800. Talk. Hello, so this Amanda. is a... Connor. I want to say this is, a f it's not necessarily a figment of imagination because Finding androids don't have imagination. Easy. It you is a program scary, in Connor's scary. software. Because Amanda you is dead, I think. The actual Amanda is dead. You should have because Amanda I was Kamsky's mentor, as we find out in a later to... chapter. Never mind. So... I don't know. So this Amanda definitely is not real. She's not real. She's not an Android because she doesn't have an LED. She is code. She is ones and zeros in our dear boy Connor's brain. What did you think of the deviant? Ah, he's dead. Uh, 
It showed signs Traumatized? Of PTSD after being abused by its owner. I don't think there's really any Since way to mess us up. There's only way to get Amanda to not like us, but there's not a way to this get anybody killed in this specific case. case what do you I make guess. of him? Uh, he is dysfunctional. Him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior, and which we find out later. No interest in the investigation. Cole, I think his son's name was. Spoilers! Shameless plug in. Go watch my other ch my other what series, the, the first playthrough. Don't, don't know. I don't have enough data to decide that yet. I'll learn more about him and try to adapt my behavior accordingly. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are yes. millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. Lies! You're feeding me Anyone lies, but that's okay. <laughs> you can count on me, Amanda. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Run, Barry, run! Yeah, and then he wakes up. Or not. I'm hungry, man. I haven't eaten this morning. Look at you and your jeans. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. I can do that. Can Talk to the receptionist. I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Yes. Connect. There we go. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. I can do that. Look at you and your freckles. All right. Going through restricted area. Going through the cool sliding glass doors. Um. So we're gonna try to make Hank hate us as much as possible. Here's Hank's desk. Don't even have to scan for it. And, uh, a one? Yep, Lieutenant Anderson. Can we sit down? What's up? What's up? Nothing, really. So what does it want me to do? Find Lieutenant... I found it. Gee dang, I found it. It's right here, Lieutenant Anderson. Why didn't you do that the first time, game? <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. Fair if enough. We'll see him before noon. Thanks. 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 Sit down. Connor's... Uh, he's just so awkward in this scene. He's just like... Okay, just taking information in. Alright, explore new office. Explore. Get up, Connor. Stand up. Alright, here we go. We gotta just rummage through the stuff. Call, Call Hank Anderson. Siri. Hank. Not here at the Call moment. Hank. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Beep. Whatever. Beep. Hang up. No need to leave a message. His, his phone's right there. Um, analyze. So these are all the clues that lieutenant anderson has on or I, I should say these are clues for us actually um because they're not clues for hank they are clues for us to find out more about hank and again i'm not going to be i'm going to be going through these very quickly um oh we already got that one mobby oh we go through his whole desk not just the board it's been a while since i've played this okay uh, but like i said these are clues for us rather than hank um Let's see, did I get all, nope, there we go, bonsai tree, dead one, um, because all of these relate to his story, and I want to piss him off, <laughs> sumo, I love sumo, and uh, one more clue, this should be the last clue, right, yep, awesome, back out, was a decorated officer, then his son died, hey, you. Hank, oh, how's geez. it going? Hank, in my office. Now. Do, 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 do. Listen in, 
because listening in is fun. Gonna use drop to the conversation. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, uh. we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's <laughs> problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the Wait, shit hits the itches. fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everyone is overloaded. I think you're perfectly I mean, my qualified phone, for this I don't type know how of to investigation. Work Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. Hello, my name is Connor. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. No. Hank, you are seriously no. starting to piss me no. off. No. You are a police no. lieutenant. You are no. supposed to do what I say. No. And shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Ooh, get chunked, son. Well, that went well. Well, then. Uh, I won't keep you any longer. Just leave. Have a nice day, Captain. Have a nice day, Captain. Capitan! All right. I don't actually remember what happens next. Check on Hank. Because I know that last time there was an option to go check on the Deviant. I get the impression but... that presence causes you some inconvenience. I meant to hit circle. Um, I'd like you to know but... I'm very sorry about since he killed himself, there's no deviant to um, go look in after. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm Positive very happy to be partners. I'm sure we'll make a great team. I'm very happy to be working with you. Now that we're great team, great what kind of work? Teamwork. <laughs> Connor, you're so awkward. All right, desk. Is there a desk right behind? Use? No one's using that one. All right, donuts sound good. I want some donuts. All right, so here we go. Sit down. Sit, sit, sit. sit. Con Connor, sit down. Thank you. And Fowler. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Yeah. Too long. Can we just get on with this? Can we get on with this? Okay. Hours. I'm not gonna ask anything about him. Do you always arrive at the office? Because hopefully I arrive when I arrive. This will further the conversation. Stop busting my balls, okay? I think this is. So then we get to look at the cases. Yes, start working. If you have any files on deviants, and then I'll be able to take like a look to at them, look at them and then we'll further the story in a Terminals quick on your manner. Knock yourself out. Access. All right, uh, go through them all, uh, scan all files. Thank you. Got it. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the RA9, gotta, gotta go get that answer. We could follow up on one of these cases, see if we could figure out what happened. Ooh, what if we shoot that Chloe? Be a good way to start I wonder if, like, she'll disappear from the think? title screen. <laughs> That's an interesting thought. Hank. We got to get to work. The uh, aggressive. If the situation doesn't suit you, Lieutenant, 
You should ask to be relieved of duties and let me work with someone else. I know exactly what I have Ooh. to do. So keep your advice to yourself and mind your own business. I like where this is going. I mean, I hate it, but I like, I like what, I don't know. Like I said, this is a genocide run. This is the I'm going to file try to get the worst possible ending. So, refuse to work on this investigation. Gotta twist his arm a lot, because he's a uh, eccentric, hard-boiled tenant. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. People are looking. Oh, we're not. But his uniform—it just looks so sharp. You can see the actual threads on his uniform. That's cool. Where are you going? Lunch. Bullshit me. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We've been going on for, for, for a little bit. Um, nothing actually detrimental really happened in this episode. We're just making our way through the story. Um, didn't get anybody killed. Maybe Leo. I think he survives. Carl actually didn't die. I think Carl died in my first playthrough. He did die. He died in the wheelchair, so... It, that, that's interesting. Um, otherwise, we're just pissing Hank off. The long and short of it, we're just pissing Hank off. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything you'd like me to do, review, or play, please leave it down in the comments below, and why not like and subscribe? So I thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.